welcome your host of the Retail Industry Awards, Alex Brooker. Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to the 2020 Retail Industry Awards. My name is Alex Brooker and I will be your host today. It is an absolute um, pleasure to be here. It's, um, it's nice. nice to be out of the house. It's, it's nice to be out and to be... Um, Suited and booted, you know. I, I, I'll be honest with you, like some a lot of people, I spent most of last year in joggers, so it's it's nice to get the suit on. It's a lot tighter in the trousers um, than it was last time. I wore it. I had a good couple of lockdowns. I'm not going to lie, but it's nice to be out. Got my special um, cufflinks on. Um, my wife got me these cufflinks for Christmas, and each cufflink has a hand and footprint um, from my daughter on which um, a lot of people would think is quite cute, but quite frankly, I think it's taking a piss. Um, it's just, you know, just a nice little reminder for me on my wrist how much my kids take after their mother. Um, but it is an absolute pleasure to be here. I feel like I've come full circle in my career, having um, started my, my working life um, at Tesco's in, in Ashford in Kent, um, I worked on the tills there on my year out, on my gap year before university. Um, I, a lot of people like to travel around the world in their gap year. I chose to find myself at uh, Tesco in Ashford um, working on the tills. But it was, you know, I was always made uh, to feel very welcome at Tesco. And they're a very progressive company because, you know, obviously as a, as a disabled employee, I'm sure they're aware that that might have kind of produced some challenges for me and they really looked after me. I remember my first day um, at Tesco, they gave me this pot, my first shift on the till, they gave me this pot um, basically because they were worried about me holding change and dropping it. This is, this is like, you know, you're talking 2002, this is the days before your chip and pin, which would have been a touch for me if I'd have been there. So this is when it was a lot of cash was changing hands and um, they gave me this little pot so I could kind of scoop the change out and then kind of give it to the customer, obviously without me, um, without me having to uh, drop it also. Actually thinking about it, they were way ahead of the game in terms of cleanliness and, and stuff like that. So yeah, you know, they gave me this pot to, to scoop the money into and I used it a couple of times. I'd just leave the pot on the top of the desk. And what would happen is, I think that like, a few customers would just see the pot there and just assume that I was doing like a little, well, that we were doing like a little collection for me. So they'd feel sorry for me. And then I remember like one Saturday shift, just looking in it, and there was about a tenner in there. It was an absolute result. I was absolutely cleaning up. I'd come home from a Saturday shift, having done eight hours, and I'd be about 60 quid up. So I'd like to thank you, uh, Tesco, for, yeah, for starting me off in my working career, and also for giving me a little pocket change on the side. Um, it is a pleasure to be here, and it, we are now on to the awards. But before we start handing out the trophies, I'm delighted to welcome, with a quick opening message, from Independent Retail News and TalkingRetail.com, editor David Shrimpton and commercial director Kim Reddick. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to the 2020 Retail Industry Awards. Sorry we couldn't get together in person this year, but in these exceptional circumstances, we've put together what we hope will be the next best thing, a virtual celebration of this amazing sector. My thanks to everyone who has worked so hard to make this possible. And talking of hard work, I'd also like to extend my heartfelt thanks and admiration to everybody working in the grocery retail sector. You've really pulled out all the stops over the past year to keep the great British public fed and watered. From our largest supermarkets to our smallest local convenience stores, everyone has been absolutely fantastic. My congratulations to you all. Clearly though, the pandemic has played havoc with like for like sales. So we took the decision early on in the process to concentrate on the financial results for the year to February 2020. So that's what the judges were looking at when deciding the winners, at least in terms of the numbers. Once again, we have seen some outstanding performances, both individually and collectively, and the quality of entries was absolutely amazing. Sadly, not everyone can win an award, but even being shortlisted is an amazing achievement. So all the winners should be extremely proud. A massive congratulations then to everyone on the shortlist. It really is a huge honour, especially in these most challenging of times. A big thank you in fact to everyone who entered and to our sponsors and supporters without whom none of this would be possible. Thank you to Bestway, 
to Booker, to JTI, Mondelez International and the Post Office, and also to Retail's Best, Service Graphics, Spa UK, Suntory Food and Beverage. We really do appreciate your support. Good luck to everyone on the shortlist. And to all of you at home watching, we hope you enjoy our virtual awards in this, our 25th anniversary of the Retail Industry Awards. Thank you very much for listening. And back to you, Alex. Bye. Thank you, Kim and David. Now, while the awards presentation may be different than normal, our judging process remained as rigorous as ever, with 68 expert judges going through every one of the entries with a fine tooth comb. A big thank you to all of our judges. Without you, the awards would not be possible. And although we can't be together in person, you can still join the conversation virtually. Get involved on Twitter using the hashtag RIA20. And why not say hello to your fellow guests using the chat box, which you will find next to your screen. But now it's time to crack on with the awards. Our first category is for Newcomer of the Year, sponsored by Booker. And we have three brilliant and deserving contenders. Dillian Patel, welcome Rickmansworth. Enya McAteer, Mulcan Spa, Jonesborough. And Martin and Brenda Daly, Daly Service Station. But now we go over to Colm Johnson, Managing Director from our sponsor, Booker Group Retail, to find out who the winner is. Over to you, Colm. So, the winning candidate is set to work on improving staff relationships at the Northern Island store after joining the team as a part-time supervisor, following a year spent as a training manager at Lidl. She implemented new policies and dealt with uniform issues, absences and staff behaviour, as well as bringing in new incentives for the 20 strong team, staff nights out and a new appraisal system. One judge said her range of retail skills is very impressive and she clearly leads by example. So congratulations and well done to the winner of the Newcomer of the Year 2020, Enya Makatea. <laughs> Congratulations Enya and a well done to our highly commended in this category, Dillian Patel of Welcome Rickmansworth. Our next award is for Most Improved Store, which has been kindly sponsored by Spa UK. Three stores are battling out for the prize and they are Budgeons Arbery, Costcutter Chislehurst and MJ Store Premier. This category was a tough one to judge, but to let us know who will take home the accolade, it's over to Ian Taylor, Retail Director from our sponsor Spa UK. Take it away, Ian. Thank you, Alex, and congratulations to all the nominees in tonight's awards. So when Ronick Patel brought his store, it had been in a state of neglect for some time, so he decided to carry out a complete refit. Patel and his team spent eight months getting to grips with the needs of the local customers and also sought inspiration from other retailers. Overall, the refit generated 15 to 20% increase in turnover and similar increase in footfall. The judges praised his excellent entry and Patel's bravery in deciding to refit the whole store while reducing its size from 8,000 to 5,000 square feet. So the winner of the most improved store 2020 is Budgeons Arbury in Cambridge. Well done to Budgeons of Arbury and also congratulations to Cost Cutter Chislehurst who have been awarded highly commended in this category. Thank you Ian and thanks once again to our sponsor Spy UK. Moving on, we come to the Independent Community Retailer of the Year, sponsored by Booker. On the shortlist, we have Mulcairn Zero Spa, Smeaton Stores Premier, and Welcome Benbridge. To help us reveal who they are, it's back to our sponsor, Booker. So over to you, Colm. So this store has developed strong links with the local schools, community groups, and charities, and makes excellent use of social media to support its strategy. Initiatives included culling competitions for local children and the creation of an in-store food bank to help the homeless. The judging panel felt this was a wonderful example of a community store, with one expert saying it was one of the best retailers they ever had the privilege to judge. And the winner of the Independent Community Retail of the Year is Mulcairn's Eurospell, Newry County Down.
fantastic feedback from our judges. They would also like to award a highly commended to Smeaton Stores Premier, so well done to them. Next up is the award for the Multiple Community Retailer of the Year, and the three retailers battling it out for the title are Audi, The Co-op and One Stop. To help us reveal the winner, we're joined tonight by one of our leading judges, from Nielsen, Head of Insight, Mike Watkins. Hello, Mike. Hello, Alex, and thank you for having me. Concern for the community is one of this retailer's core principles, and the retailer says it continues to be a key point of difference. This can be seen in its membership proposition, something for you, something for your community. Its local community fund means that every time a member buys an own label product, 1% is donated to a local good cause. In the last four years, the retailer has given away more than £60 million. Our judges described it as one of the most socially progressive retailers in the country, and support it provides makes a real difference to communities. I am thrilled to announce that the Multiple Community Retailer of the Year is... Co-op! Well done to the co-op for this win and also congratulations to Audi who are highly commended in this category. We come now to our award for the most sustainable retailer initiative of the year which is divided into two categories independent and multiple. First up the award for independent stores and the shortlist is Grain and Sustain and Malkin's Eurospa. This convenience operator launched Zero Waste Wednesdays to communicate its new sustainable initiative to shoppers. It created a social media diary of the store's environmental programme featuring the tagline, Little Changes Make a Big Difference. This store sourced compostable packaging across several categories and introduced a refill station for cleaning and beauty products. It even had solar panels fitted to the roof. One judge said, what really impressed me was the huge range of initiatives undertaken that take the burden of choice from the customer and move eco-friendly shopping from tricky decision making to being the norm. To help me reveal the winner, I'm joined again by editor of Independent Retail News, David Shrimpton. Hello everybody. I'm pleased to announce that the winner of Most Sustainable Retailer Initiative of the Year Independent is... Malkan's Eurospa. So congratulations to Malkan's and well done to Grain and Sustain who were highly commended by the judges. And now we move to the shortlist for most sustainable retailer initiative of the year, Multiple. And there are three retailers that are in the running. Audi, The Co-op and Lidl. Three of the big boys there. In February 2020, our winning retailer launched a retail first by incorporating prevented ocean plastic into the packaging of its fresh fish range. The scheme sees PET bottles collected from beaches in Southeast Asia before being sorted and turned into packaging. It will initially stop around 60 tonnes of plastic from entering the oceans every year, the equivalent of 2.5 million bottles. One judge said, preventing ocean plastics and using recycled waste to create packaging is a very neat idea. The initiative benefits local people in the Far East who collect the waste and raises awareness of the problem with UK customers. But now it's back to commercial director Kim Reddick to find out who the winner is. The winner of the most sustainable retailer of the year initiative, Multiple, is Lidl. Well done to Lidl. It's time to announce the winners of the Best Use of Technology Award for both independent and multiple retailers. The shortlist for independence is as follows. Mulkern's Euro Spa and Racetrack Pit Stop Auto Port Services. Two very worthy contenders. Our winner in this category has proved the power of technology by harnessing it to develop its business build customer loyalty and create a visually stunning shopping environment. 
It boasts more than 60 media screens, giving owner Shamley Sud and his staff the ability to run bespoke promotions, such as lunch deals between 11 and 3 p.m. The Retail Awards judges praised the great use of digital media, which they said transforms the look and feel of the store. Another said the impact of the screens was simply dazzling, but now it's back to David to reveal the winner. The winner of Best Use of Technology Independent is Racetrack Pit Stop Autopult Services. Well done to Racetrack Pit Stop and also to Molcan Zero Spa who have received a highly commended for this category. Next we move to Best Use of Technology Multiple and the shortlisted retailers are Asda, The Co-op and One Stop. The winner has invested heavily in technology and its strategy is already paying dividends. Its e-commerce proposition, an online shop launched in March 2019 with deliveries made using electric cargo bikes. It was the first time the convenience chain had offered online shopping and the service has since grown rapidly and proved popular with customers. By the end of 2019, it was available to almost 3 million households. One judge said, Having stayed on the sidelines of e-commerce for many years, they have now become one of the digital leaders. Another commented, this retailer is constantly innovating to help satisfy local needs and is not afraid to try out new initiatives. So let's head back to Kim to find out who has won. Hello, Kim. Thank you, Alex. The Best Use of Technology Multiple Award winner is... The Co-op. Congratulations to the co-op. Up next, we have Store Manager of the Year. This category celebrates the extraordinary talent of store managers across the country, all of whom have had to work extremely hard this year. First up is a shortlist for independent store manager, and the nominations are Claire Hale, Spa Kexborough, and Kelly McKeown, Molkerns Euro Spa. Congratulations to both candidates, but to find out who the winner is, we are joined by, from our sponsor, Service Graphics Managing Director, Mike Hollyoak. Hi Alex, I'm thrilled to be presenting Store Manager of the Year. This person has been managing her eight strong team for more than 20 years and believes proper training is key to having a knowledgeable and happy staff. She trains all members of her, her team to work in all areas of the store and puts great emphasis on regular communication. To build staff morale, she plans TikTok Tuesdays, where she posts videos of a team dance or in-store karaoke. The ju judges were particularly impressed with her overall performance and loyalty to the business. They praised her success in managing such, such big changes. Uh, she's simply fantastic, one judge commented. So without further ado, the winner of the Independent Store Manager of the Year is Claire Hale from Spa Kexper. Huge well done to our winner, Claire Hale. And congratulations to Kelly McKeown on being highly commended. Now we move on to the multiple entries and the hotly contested shortlist is as follows. Martin Brownfield, Co-op Tregenna Place. Kaylee Davidson, Co-op Wooler. Daniel Massey, Co-op New York Street. Samuel McCann, Spa Malone Road. And Kamar Nawaz, Co-op Dairy Ground Road. Let's go back to Mike Hollyoak from Service Graphics to find out the winner. Bringing positivity and instilling confidence in his staff was important for this store manager when he joined the 34 strong team. He took time to get to know his staff and created a plan for each colleague outlining their roles and responsibilities, which had an immediate impact on their confidence. The judges were, were impressed with the way he was able to reconnect staff members with the local community, with one calling his entry a great turnaround story. And so the winner of the Multiple Store Manager of the Year is Daniel Massey from the Co-op. Congratulations.
Well done to Daniel Massey from Co-op New York Street. Congratulations to Martin Brownfield, who has been awarded a highly commended, and to Kaylee Davidson, who has been awarded a commended. Well done both, and thank you again to Service Graphics for sponsoring this award. Let's now turn our attention to Post Office Retailer of the Year, which is sponsored by none other than the Post Office, and there were four stores in the running. Budgeons of Arbury, Londis Caterways and Post Office, Spa Brunswick Road and Post Office, and Spa Malone Road. Four fantastic contenders, but now to unveil the winners, we go over to Group Retail Director at the Post Office, Amanda Jones. Hello, Amanda. Hello, Alex, and thank you. I'm thrilled to announce that we have selected two winners of the Post Office Retailer of the Year. First up, we have Independent Post Office Retailer of the Year. Our judges described the winner as an exceptional example of great retail fully integrated with post office services. And store owner Amish Shingadia sees the post office as the store's biggest single attraction. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of Post Office Retailer of the Year Independent is Londis Caterways and Post Office, Horsham, West Sussex. Next up is Post Office Retailer of the Year, Company Owned. With its postal counter situated within a busy modern forecourt, this store offers a shining example of a well-run, integrated business, combining state-of-the-art grocery retail and 24-hour post office services for a wide range of on-the-go customers. One judge called it an entry bursting with enthusiasm and commitment to customer service, demonstrating seamless integration between the retail side of the business and the post office. And congratulations to Spa Malone Road, Belfast. Thank you, Amanda, and well done, Londis Caterways and Spa Malone Road. There was also a highly commended in this category, which goes to Spa Brunswick Road. Up next, we have the award for Food To Go Retailer of the Year, Independent and Multiple Convenience. This was a competitive category. And the independent shortlist is as follows. MJ Store Premier, Mulkerns Eurospa, Racetrack Pit Stop Autoport Services, Simply Fresh Piccadilly Place, and Spa Eat 17 Bishop Stortford. We go now to Chris Noyce from the Association of Convenience Stores to find out who the lucky winner is. Take it away, Chris. Thank you, and hello everyone. This retailer worked hard to increase weekly food to go sales by £8,000 during the course of the year. Working from shopper feedback, the store introduced new ranges to cater for its varied customer base, including low calorie options and a fake away range of Chinese meals. The judges praised the customer centric approach and were highly impressed with the efforts taken to increase food to go sales. The winner is Mulkerns Eurospa, Newry County Down. Thank you, Chris, and well done to Mulcairn Zero Spa. There is also a special mention for Spa Eat 17, who are highly commended in this category. Now we turn our attention to the prize for Food To Go Retailer of the Year, Multiple Convenience, and in this category, there was one entry that stood out. The winning retailer monitors shopper behaviour to make sure it offers a Food To Go range suitable for stores in all different locations. The offer now features more than 700 products, including a wide range of sandwiches, wraps and flatbreads, as well as salads, sushi and chilled snacks. The judging panel praised this entry for its depth of range and alternative meal options. One said, they have quickly become a leader in food to go, leveraging their quality credentials to develop a highly regarded and innovative offer. So without further ado, I am delighted to reveal that the winner is the Co-op. Well done to the Co-op. It is time to discover the winner of the Chilled Retailer of the Year in both the independent and multiple categories. The shortlist for our independent retailers is 
Ash's Shop, Nice Local, Cost Cutter Chiselhurst, JC Stewart, Magarafelt, and Swift's Euro Spa, Lisnes Kia. Four incredible stores competing for the trophy. Chilled is big business at our winner's shop, accounting for almost 22% of total sales. Store owner Amit Puntambakar and his team recently oversaw a six-figure refit that extended the chiller area by nine metres and boosted sales by more than 1,000 units a week. The judges were impressed with the level of focus and innovation shown by the retailer. One judge said, what impressed me most was that the initiatives displayed could be applied across the vast majority of independent retailers and provide inspiration to offers. To find out the winner, we are joined again by David from Independent Retail News. Over to you, David. And the winner of Chilled Retailer of the Year Independent is Ashes Shop, Nicer Local, Fenstanton, Cambridgeshire. Well done to Ashes Shop, Nicer Local. But as this was an extremely strong shortlist, the judges also decided to award a highly commended to Cost Cutter Chiselhurst and Swiss Eurospa Lisnes Kia. So well done to both. For Chilled Retailer of the Year, multiple, the judges decided there was one entrant who stood out above the rest. The winning supermarket works closely with British suppliers to source its fresh products, with 75% of chilled goods now sourced from across the UK including its core range of fresh meat, eggs, milk, butter, cream and bakery products. The judges praised the winner for its overall business ethos and for an approach designed to provide shoppers with the best quality products to suit their budgets. One judge said, it was great to see their continued support of British farmers. So over to you, Kim, to reveal the winner. The winner of the Chilled Retailer of the Year Multiple Award is Audi. Well done Audi on this terrific win. Let's now turn our attention to Drinks Retailer of the Year, Independent and Multiple. In the running on the shortlist we have Cost Cutter Broccoli, Cost Cutter Chiselhurst, Philco Market Nicer Extra, MJ Store Premier, Mulkern's Euro Spa, and Spa Calver. To help me present this award, I'm joined by another one of our esteemed judges, none other than Keith Webb from Aiden Associates Limited. Over to you, Keith. Thanks, Alex. First up, we have the award for Drinks Retailer of the Year Independent. When updating his store, the winner of this award made enhancing the drinks offering a key part of the transformation. And now he's toasting his success. He sets out to win new customers, with a focus on premium products, including fine wine and craft beers, which meant shoppers in the area no longer need to visit a multiple to buy their booze. The judges were wowed by the winner's commitment and the amazing sales uplift. One judge said he's clearly a retailer with a passion for the drinks offer in his store. And the winner of the Drinks Retailer of the Year Independence is Coscutter, Chiselhurst in Kent. Congratulations. Well done to Cost Cutter Chiselhurst and congratulations to Spa Calver as the judges would like to award you with a highly commended for this category. And now onto the shortlist for Drinks Retailer of the Year, Multiple. Here are the runners and riders. Audi, Asda, The Co-op and Lidl. So Keith, it's back to you to unveil the winner. Thanks Alex. This retailer continued to build on its drinks business through a focus on providing quality at low prices, delivering consistent product innovation and generating excitement for shoppers. Sales of beer and cider surged by 34% in 12 months, while spirits were up by 13 and wine by 5. One judge said the retail had proved a big success in terms of both its drinks business and sales uplifts. They have a really impressive track record in democratising access to premium wines, said another. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Drinks Retailer of the Year multiple is Aldi. Congratulations.
Well done Audi and well done to Lidl for winning a highly commended in this category. And also, can I just say as the parent of like two toddlers, just thank you to all of you, all of the retailers, independent and multiple, just for keeping like drinks stopped throughout the year. Um, you've really, I mean, you've kept, kept, this, kept the country going, if I'm honest. I know they did all that clapping for the NHS, but personally, um, I was half applauding for you lot, mainly because I was off my nut. Anyway, it's now time for the Seafood Retailer of the Year Award, and there are three supermarkets on this year's shortlist. Asda, Morrison's, and Waitrose. To help reveal the winner, we head over to the leading judge on this category, Trade Marketing Manager of Seafish, Andy Gray. Hello everyone. This retailer continued to improve the shopping experience for seafood buyers by rationalising its range and removing duplication to make the fixture cleaner and easier to shop. It has introduced new point of sale to improve value cut through, as well as inspirational photography to communicate product quality and the health benefits of seafood. The company clearly understand their customers and know how to promote fish to them across the seasons, said one judge. Another added, sustainability of fish is obviously at the forefront of their strategy. The winner of Seafood Retailer of the Year 2020 is Asda. What a fantastic win for Asda and well done to the whole team there. And now for Fresh Flower Supermarket of the Year. Two retailers go head to head on our shortlist, but only one can win. They are Audi and Lidl. This retailer has been building market share in Fresh Flowers for five years in a row, which it says reflects its commitment to continuously improving and innovating to offer shoppers top quality flowers at the best prices. Already the fifth largest horticulture retailer in Britain, it has expanded its plant and flower ranges in the past year, increased advertising support and invested massively in staff skills. Judges praised the retailer's innovative thinking. It's demonstrated in every one of the criteria, said one judge. From the flower handbook to bucket wraps, speciality ranges and new lines of British grown flowers. The winner of Fresh Flower Supermarket of the Year is Lidl. Well done to everyone at Lidl and also to Audi who have been awarded a highly commended. Moving on, we come to the Fresh Produce Retailer of the Year Award and first up, we have the independent shortlist. JC Stewart, Magarafel, Malkin Zero Spa, and Spa Calva. The strategy of this convenience retailer is to be unique, competitive and stand out from the crowd and the approach seems to be working. The winner increased sales of fresh produce by 15% after this area of the store was updated to boost shopper appeal. Fresh produce has since become the strongest department with sales increasing by as much as 30% a week. One judge praised the retailer's beautiful displays and its emphasis on fresh and local products. Another described the store as almost faultless, with brilliant displays and retail theatre encompassing localness, cross-merchandising and seasonality. I think they liked it. Um, and I'm thrilled to announce that this year's Independent Fresh Produce Retailer of the Year is JC Stewart. Congratulations to JC Stewart and a big well done to Spa Calva, who have won a highly commended in this category. But now let's move on to the multiple shortlist where we have two companies in the running, Audi and Lidl. The surge in popularity of this retailer's fresh produce was evident at Christmas 2019 when it posted extraordinary sales growth of 9% at a time when the total market was in decline. It increased its pick of the week promotions from four to six, continuing to drive affordable fresh produce for families and encouraging children to eat healthy food. The judges were particularly impressed with the retailer's moves to address food waste and by its community support. It is setting standards for other industry players to follow, was one comment. 
It's bursting with enthusiasm for the fresh produce category, said another. The winner of Fresh Produce Retailer of the Year Multiple is Lidl. Well done, Lidl. The next award is for Trailblazer of the Year, which has been kindly sponsored by Suntory Beverage and Food. This was an intense and competitive category with five amazing individuals fighting their way onto the shortlist. They are James Brundle, Spa Eat 17, George Hayworth, Co-op, Louise Olivia Mountjoy, Humpington Grain and Sustain, Shamley and Vikas Sud, Racetrack Pit Stop Autoport Services, and Justin Whitaker, MJ Store Premier. To help us reveal the winner, I'd like to welcome Channel Director at Suntory Beverage and Food, Matt Goldsmith. Over to you, Matt. It's an honour to be here with you this evening. I've made an effort and put my black tie on, and I'm in front of the Christmas tree. I hope you've all had a great Christmas. Anyway, I'm proud to be here to be sponsoring the Trailblazer of the Year Award. So, described as an unsung member of his employee's food digital team, this person has been instrumental in the partnership between the retailer and Deliveroo which began with a few sites in Manchester, but is now available for more than 400 stores across the country. He's also led the central operations team in, in launching a free same day online delivery service to homes and offices. And the judging panel was astonished by his digital knowledge, describing him as a genuine trailblazer. The winner of Trailblazer of the Year is George Hayworth from the Co-op. Many congratulations. <laughs> Well done to George Hayworth of Co-op and also to Matt for being a trailblazer himself by having a Christmas tree up in January. But anyway, the judges wanted to recognise two more entries in this category, so highly commended awards go to Louise Humpington of Grain and Sustain and Shamley and Vikas Sud at Racetrack Pit Stop Autoport Services. Well done all. Four Court Retailer of the Year is up next and the category is sponsored by Retail's Best. This award is split into independent and company owned. So first up, we have our independent shortlist. Daily service station, Spa. Parkfoot Spa, West Morling. Racetrack Pit Stop, Autoport Services. And Welcome Southwater. This 3,000 square foot store is open 24 hours a day, offering its customers a wide range of services, including a butcher's counter, hot food to go, freshly squeezed orange juice and freshly brewed coffee. Improvements during the year, including the addition of a smoking bean coffee bar with seating area. So I'm just being childish, which increased coffee sales by more than 100%. The judges were hugely impressed with the quality of the store, with one praising its consistently high standards that others have strived even to emulate. Another judge said, I have judged many stores over the years, but this is the only 100% I've ever given. For me, David and his team are ticking every single box. It's absolutely brilliant. To announce the winner, please welcome, from Retail's Best, founder, Moyes Vass. Hi, the winner of the Independent Four Court Retail of the Year is Parkfoot Spa West Morgan Kemp. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you Moyes and well done to all at Parkfoot Spa. The judges were so impressed with the terrific entries in this category that they would like to also extend a highly commended to Daily Service Station and a commended to Racetrack Pit Stop Autoport Services. Well done to both. And now for the shortlist for company owned Forecourt Retailer of the Year and the three stores fighting it out are Jet Askern Service Station Spa, Jet Balby, Service Station Spa and P&G Euro Spa Porter Down. The winning store has seen non-petrol sales increase by nearly 20% over the past year. Like our winner in the independent category, its services include an in-store butchery, cafe with seating area and home delivery. The retailer actively encourages customer feedback to help the business improve. The judges were clearly impressed with this outstanding store. 
It's a real one-stop supermarket with services and food to go, all blended into a well-run operation, said one. Wow, what an incredible looking store, said another. For me, it's a standout entry. But now, back to Moyes for the winner. And now, the winner of the company-owned Forecourt Retailer of the Year is... P&G Eurospa, Waterdown, County Armagh. Well done to the team. Well done to P&G Eurospa. Up next, it's Convenience Retailer of the Year. The shortlist is Co-op, One Stop, Sainsbury's Local and Tesco Express. All wonderful retailers, but there can only be one winner. This operator was named Convenience Retailer of the Year thanks not only to a financial performance that included a 1.9% increase in like-for-like -like sales, but also with recognition of its innovation and leadership across a range of other areas. These included the introduction of its own plant-based range, delivery tie-ups with the likes of Deliveroo, and also the development of its wholesale business. The judges applauded its commitment to the environment and fair trade, the introduction of new technology such as robot delivery, robot deliveries, bloody hell, I want to see robot deliveries, sorry, and its commitment to diversity and inclusion within the team. There's a lot to applaud outside just the financials, said one judge. They are outstanding at the moment. To announce who this winner is, please welcome from our judging partner IRI Worldwide, Senior Insight Manager, Christina Duncan. Christina, will you please let us know who the winner is? Hello, and thank you so much, Alex. It is my great honor to reveal to you the winner of the Convenience Retailer of the Year. And the winner is Co-op. Congratulations. Well done, Co-op, on this fantastic win. And now it's time for the big one, the Independent Retailer of the Year Award, which is once again sponsored by Mondelez International. To tell us more about this category, we are joined by our lead judge, John Higney. Hello, everyone. The Independent Retailer of the Year is one of the highlights of the Retail Industry Awards. When we go through an extremely thorough and rigorous judging process, to make sure that we select the very best of the best within the sector. Despite all of the difficulties, I'm totally indebted to our independent retailers who rose to the challenge of being assessed remotely, and also to our panel of retail experts, Joanna Bird, Guy Ausey, Mike Igo, and Nigel Gray. This is the sixth year that my company, John Heating Consulting, has been the lead judging partner for the awards. And every year, I'm excited by how the best independent operators really push the boundaries of excellence. Our assessment process is extremely detailed, starting with the desktop analysis and culminating in unannounced store visits, which this year took place via Zoom. Those assessments were then shared with a panel of 19 highly respected industry stalwarts who have once again selected an amazing set of winners. I look forward to going back to our normal feet on the street visits in a few months time and seeing more truly wonderful independent retailers. Finally, my sincere thanks to Mondelez for once again sponsoring this section of the awards. We very much appreciate your support. Thank you. Thank you, John, and thank you to your team of experts. Right, let us begin. The first subcategory of this award is for Independent Retailer of the Year up to 1,200 square feet. And the short listees are Londis Caterways and Post Office and Smeaton Stores Premier. Two wonderful stores that really wowed the judges. But now to reveal the winner from our sponsor Mondelez International is Philip Birch. Retailer Amish Shingardia undertook a restructuring of his store based on heat maps, customer tracking, EPOS data and shopper surveys, a renovation project that resulted in a 12% uplift in sales. Judges praised the tidy, well-structured and well-merchandised store with its high housekeeping standards and excellent fresh produce. This is a retailer who really understands what he's doing, said the judge. He is young and enthusiastic and has a genuine grip on the commercial side of the business. The winner 
that the independent retailer of the year, up to 1,200 square foot, is Londis Caterways and Post Office, Horsham, West Sussex. Well done to Londis Caterways. Huge congratulations to Londis Caterways and well done also to Smeaton Stores 5 who have been awarded or highly commended. Um, the second award is for Independent Retailer of the Year up to 3,000 square feet. And on the shortlist we have Cost Cutter Broccoli, MJ Store Premier and Spa Rocket Stores Bolton. Luckily, we have Alistair Hamilton of Mondelez to let us know who the winner is. Good evening, Alistair. Good evening, Alex. It's a privilege for Mondelez to be involved. Despite having only 1,400 square feet of sales space, this retailer has managed to increase sales by more than 40% in the past two years. Never one to rest on his laurels, he continued to develop the store on several fronts during the most recent 12 month period, including the creation of an app based home delivery service that allows customers to have their groceries delivered within 30 minutes. Our judges deemed it a rather impressive store that has successfully developed its unique identity and a strong own brand. The store standards are amazing, said one judge. The whole business is driven hard all the time and Justin doesn't miss a trick anywhere. Another judge said, he's showing the future of convenience shopping. It's absolutely outstanding. So the winner of the independent retail of the year, 12,001 to 3,000 square feet is MJ's Stores, Premier, Royton, Lancashire. Huge congratulations. Well done, Justin, and to everyone at MJ's Store. Now for the Independent Retailer of the Year, 3,000 to 6,000 square feet. Let's take a look at the shortlist. Budgeons of Arbury, Eurospa Finto Na, and Spa Eat 17 Walthamstow. <laughs> it's like he's like Eat 17. I've been wondering now all all this awards. It's like it because Eat 17 are from Walthamstow. Anyway, sorry about that. It's, uh, it's me being completely boring. I love Eat 17. Anyway, a very strong shortlist indeed. And to reveal the winner, let's go over to Trade Communications Manager at Mondelez International, Susan Nash. In one of the closest three-way contests in the history of the Retail Industry Awards, this store came out on top because of its fantastic retail innovation and execution. The store has increased its own label lines and increased local produce. The store is innovative, quirky and a great looking store. It offers premium value and local products and a range of refillable items. The judges said the store oozed passion and innovation and was really pushing retail boundaries. Hats off to everyone at the store. The winner of the Independent Retailer of the Year in the 3,000 to 6,000 square feet category is Spa Eat 17. Congratulations to Spa Eat 17 Walthamstow. And a special mention must also go to our other entries who impressed the judges so much that both Budgins of Arbury and Eurospa Fintona have been awarded a highly commended. The final independent retailer award is for stores over 6,000 square feet. And there are three retailers on the shortlist. Philco Market, Nicer at Extra, JC Stewart, Magarafelt, and Swiss Eurospa Lisnes Kia. To reveal the winner, I'm joined by Mark Stanonaut, Sales Director for Impulse at Mondelez International. Over to you, Mark. Thank you, Alex. With a huge focus on fresh produce, this 12,000 square foot store boasts turnover of more than 15,000 pounds a week and an average customer spend of more than 15 pounds. During the year, the business underwent a major refit to create even more space for fresh food and as a result turnover increased by nearly a quarter. The judges described our winner as a standout store, offering fabulous quality and an amazing own brand range. One said simply, I've seen some great stores over the years and those in Northern Ireland always push the boundaries, but this is the best store I've ever seen in my life. It's absolutely phenomenal. The winner 
of the independent retailer of the year over 6,000 square foot is JC Stewart Mackerfelt. Huge congratulations. <music>
And now we're joined once again by Rupert Hine from JTI to reveal the winner. The award for the outstanding achievement in 2020, in recognition of its valiant efforts during the COVID-19 pandemic, goes to the UK grocery retail sector. Absolutely superb and to accept this accolade on behalf of the UK grocery retail sector we're joined by Helen Dickinson, Chief Executive Officer at the British Retail Consortium. I am deeply honoured to accept this award on behalf of the grocery retail industry. We already know that we have a world leading industry in this country. but. From convenience stores to supermarkets to online grocers, every single person in every one of these businesses, stores, DCs, drivers, support centres and everybody in between has showed indomitable spirit in the face of huge challenges posed by the pandemic. You went above and beyond. You ensured that customers and colleagues stayed safe. You ensured that everyone got the food that they needed. You looked after vulnerable people, you scaled up your businesses, doubled your online capacity. You were and still are truly in the front line of the pandemic. You should be very proud of everything that you've done. I thank you for the incredible efforts you have made. And I am sure every single person in this country thanks you for the incredible efforts you've made. This is your award. Congratulations. Thank you, Helen, and also to Rupert from JTI. A huge thank you to everyone working in the UK grocery retail sector for your incredible work. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end of the 2020 Retail Industry Awards. Huge congratulations to all our winners and finalists, and a big final thank you to our sponsors. A big thank you to our judging partners and to our fabulous judges, to all our presenters tonight, you have been wonderful and we are so grateful you joined us. A winner's brochure and the winning and commended logos will be circulated with you all shortly. I hope that you've enjoyed the show and from everyone at the Retail Industry Awards, thank you so much for joining us. I've been Alex Brooker, take care and goodbye.